Hi guys, I'll just show you a quick review of the Toro uh, MRAP uh, or the Max Pro MRAP. Uh, Toro came up with two uh, MRAPs, one is the Max Pro and the other one if, if I'm not mistaken is the Oshkosh. What we have here is the uh, Max Pro MRAP. As you can see, it's a fairly large model. It's about, it's taller than a, than a 116 tank definitely and it's about the same length as a small 116 tank or medium size 116 tank okay uh, you can see from the video I've actually done some minor weathering uh, put a little sand here and there okay uh, but what I want to talk to you about is the level of detail with this kit it is very nicely detailed um, <clears throat> it's got all the small touches such as the uh, let me try to focus that a bit uh, such as the details uh, the markings here uh, and all the way all around the, the all around the MRAP it's good it's nicely done okay to me it looks more like the trumpeteer kit the trumpeteer 116 kit I believe uh, <coughs> It is probably based on that, although I'm not sure if it's the same because the plastics seem to be a lot tougher, stronger and thicker than uh, the normal uh, model kit that we are used to. So um, it comes out of the box almost like this. You will have to fit in some accessories like the, the radar antenna here, this part here, the um, <clears throat> small rings, I think the climbing rings or whatever you call it. Okay, and the side mirrors, um, the side mirrors are nicely done too. It's got, uh, it's got nice clear glass there. Uh, reflective on the inside same goes for this one same goes for the big one let me try to show you if I can and there, there you go you can see right here it's there's a glass okay and what's amazing is it just doesn't look nice from the outside it looks very nice from the inside but I'll talk about outside first um, even the 50 cal um, has got nicely painted uh, bullet details here, bullets here, the ammo is nicely painted, okay. Uh, right, Look like looks like everything's where it's supposed to be, uh, even the tie downs, as you can see, these uh, railings, and you also have some photo etch here, okay, which have been painted over, and as you can see, inside there are radiator fans. Okay, nicely detailed from the outside. Yep, the model is nice. Of course, it comes very clean from the factory. And as you can see, uh, I've done a some slight weathering. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. As for the tires, uh, they are rubber, but they are they are rubber. They're kind of hard. Uh, it it looks the part, but it's it definitely you, you won't be able to uh, go rock climbing with this uh, but it's, it, it, it works it's much more like your WPL uh, but there's no air inside it's it's basically that's the rim goes all the way uh, around the rubber so it's kind of hard here okay mm. but it's nice okay um, <clears throat> and then what else can I show you yeah uh, this is the turret the turret can move Okay, the turret can move with your control, it'll, 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 it'll rotate, okay, and there's a button in the controller if you want to fire, uh, the machine gun will sound, okay, and there will be an LED blinking here. So I'm not sure whether is it an LED or fiber optic, I believe there is a tiny LED right there, if I can focus it, yep, okay. <clears throat> so from the outside, it looks good, it's nice, it's got all the lights. Okay, which will come on when you switch it on. Uh, for example, this light here. Okay, the headlights here, 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 and here, and here as well. Okay, and it's got rear lights as well. Okay, going to the back of the truck. Okay, it's got rear lights here and here. Okay, uh, like I said, the detail is awesome, <coughs> and like. This is the fuel can, 
this is the water can they are nicely detailed they are actually labeled differently fuel and you can see this is water okay and they are even colored differently so i like it about this it's 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 a very nicely done kit all you need to do is just perhaps just weather it um, up to your liking in this case in my case i chose to have some a bit only a bit of weathering okay okay so now we continue to the inside okay it's got voila it's got a nice interior it's got stairs going up it's got seats it's got i believe there's six seats there okay and you can see there's ammo cans there uh, there's some radio equipment there uh, it's got nice uh, a nice partition between the driver and the passengers okay um, to me it looks very nice very nice okay uh, i don't know about how realistic this is as opposed to the actual m wrap but I'm, I'm guessing it's almost the same okay so i like this okay you can put your soldiers here uh, i have actually tested with the 118 joy toy and it fits perfectly okay i'll probably show some pictures later on okay you can open both doors okay you just need to pull them out okay and uh, this is i've got a 118 figure there it's not joy toy it's one of those uh, cheap china ones but yeah it looks good inside okay and this is the um, <clears throat> side armor plate or something like that i actually googled this and found out that the actual mrap does have this panel uh, it's got a nice interior you can see the dashboard yeah it's got yeah, it's got even meters and so on and it has wipers and you would think that but having this on the outside there will be nothing inside you're yeah, surprised you still have windows inside glass panels inside so i like this yeah the level of deta detailing is to me it's more like a model kit as opposed to what we are used to uh, coming from hang long uh, and other china brands this is fantastic uh, but then again this is not 100% China but we all know that it's probably manufactured in China but well done Toro okay uh, as far as this MRAP being an RC vehicle I would say it's good just for show okay uh, if you want to have a show of running around your battlefield it's nice but it won't do much going off-road why because number one it's rear wheel drive this it's not four wheel drive okay there is a motor there's a gearbox in there okay there's even a differential there okay which you might want to consider locking if you want to go off rolling okay unfortunately there is no suspension there's only there is no suspension there's only fake leaf springs there so like i said it's probably based off the trumpeteer um, <clears throat> MRAP kit which is uh, I did some research uh, MRAP actually has got a few models this uh, Max Pro MRAP one is with the leaf spring I believe the newer ones come with coil springs um, I think they copied the trumpeteer one because the trumpeteer one has got leaf springs but that being said it will drive around nicely Mm, on grass and on uh, of course on sand uh, and on cement uh, but don't expect it to climb any rocks or do some proper off-roading unless you upgrade the whole undercarriage okay other than that beautiful model well done for the money i think it's worth it knowing very well how much uh, 116 kits model kits are and you still have to assemble those uh, you i love this uh, this one saves you a lot of time a lot of effort and it's rc okay so that's all for me thank you guys